<laughs> Where are you? I'm in here, my love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, where's your wife tonight? Well, the old ball and chain is out playing a couple of hands peanut go. <laughs> here you are, darling. Oh, my love, darling. Put it on. There's nothing in it. I know. Put it on. <laughs> when you come back, you'll be the hotel guest who just stepped out of the shower. And I'll be the naughty little bellboy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Inspector, detective. Enough salutations, Major. What happened? Yeah, the dead guy is Milo Taya, big time toy tycoon. Yeah. Comes home from a hard day of work, and this remote controlled tank rolls in and blows him away. You're telling me this guy was shot with a toy tank? How depressing. Death always is, Sledge. No, I'm depressed that they didn't have toys like this when I was a kid. It's funny. It was made by his own toy company. Who is she, Major? Name's Felicia Gilmore. Claims they were alone together. That she came in and found them dead. Well built, eh, Inspector? Yeah, look at that turret. Sledge, he's talking about that woman over there. I knew that. Let's question her. <clears throat> Ms. Gilmore, I'm Detective Duro. This is Inspector Hammer. What was your relationship with the deceased? Uh, I was uh, his, um, how should I say, M Milo and I were, uh, I was his... Mistress. Is it that obvious? It is from these snapshots, sister. All right, how long were you tie up illicit love slaves? Sledge, don't be so judgmental. Hey, I got no time for immorality, Duro. She was living in sin with a married man. No, he didn't live here. He just paid the rent. It's still disgusting. What can you tell us about tie up? He was a simple multimillionaire. I mean, the only thing he loved more than his toys was me. Why? Because you didn't run on batteries? Sledge, please, would you try and be a little more sensitive? Okay, okay. All right, Tramp, why'd you kill him? I didn't do it. Why would I kill Milo? It beats me. You tell me, then I'll know. Milo took care of me. He was a great catcher. But the only problem was he, he had a wife. Yeah, and he wouldn't get rid of her. So you got him to bring you a toy tank to play with, and instead you killed him with it. A perfect crime of passion. What on earth are you talking about? Is that it? No. Was any of it even close? No. How about the tank? Now, there was a tank in Yes. Yeah, Sledge, there's a doggy door here that that tank would fit through. Look at these tracks on the carpet. You know, I think that tank came from outside. These dang degenerate satin sheets. How come you're not the inspector? I don't know. So, did this big toy maggot have any enemies? I mean, other than his wife? Enemies? No. He was a gentleman who, through his toys, brought joy and laughter to millions. In other words, everybody hated him. You know, Sledge, I think there's a lot more to this case. Let's go fill in trunk and then question Mrs. Tyre. I think you're right. Let's go. And you? Don't leave town. Well, who's going to pay for it? I'm just the ex-mistress of a very influential man. What am I going to do now? 
Do what every woman in your position does. What's that? Pose for Playboy. Take care. Oh. Forgot I still had one of those left. Rest assured, Mrs. Tyup, we have two of our best officers on the case. Guess what, Captain? Milo Tyup, the toy tycoon, was just off by one of his own toys in his mistress's bedroom. I, not right now, Hammer. Oh, this won't take long, sir. It's pretty cut and dried. You see, Tyup was keeping this woman a real adult toy, and I have pictures. Here, sir, look at this. This is disgusting. This is even more disgusting. And this is not so much disgusting as surprising. And this is just unnecessary. He didn't have to take that picture. Sledge! I'm almost done here. Now, the way I figure it, the reason that the old man kept this floozy on the side was because his wife was a real bow-wow. I mean, a doggy. Hammer. You know, sir, the kind of whining and the nagging, kind of mousy type. Anyway, so she finds out about the bimbo and kaboom, she blows up the husband. I did not kill my husband. Good for you, lady. Who is she? Hammer, this is Mrs. Inez Tyup, Milo Tyup's wife. Good work, Captain. You're under arrest, lady. Hey, get your hands off me, you thug. Mrs. Tyup, I apologize for Sledgehammer's callous and crude behavior, and also for your husband's indiscretions. It's all right, Captain. I'm relieved. I thought Milo just didn't like sex. He didn't with her. Uh, Mrs. Tyup, were you aware of your husband's philandering? No, but I should have been suspicious when he said he was thinking of adopting a 28-year-old girl. God, how I hated that man. Well, why didn't you divorce him? That tightwad made me sign a prenuptial agreement. I would have gotten zip. All the more reason to kill him. With him dead, you'd get everything. You know, I never thought of that. I could just kick myself. Where were you last night? Uh, be careful. I couldn't miss my nail appointment. They charge you regardless. Uh, 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 very nice. Uh, Mrs. Tyup, you claim you didn't kill your husband. You have any idea who might want to? Oh, it would take you hours to interview all the suspects. He treated everyone poorly. Oh, the other day I overheard him having a huge fight with Harold Bell, his chief inventor. Harold Bell, Captain, we should go talk to Harold Bell. Right, get on it. Uh, now listen. I didn't mean to suggest that, that Harold could do such a thing. Yeah, we'll decide that. You know something, lady? Your husband is a lucky man. He's dead. That's what I mean. Hammer, get moving now. <sighs> Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Bell. Okay, Mr. Bell, we'll see you now. If you'll just wear these. Hey, I don't need no sticking badges. Where's Mr. Bell's office? He's in Building G, room 1218. But we provide your transportation. Mr. Bell? Quiet, please. I'm working. I'm afraid this bell is a ding dong. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm designing a new line of unisex household appliances that work for boys as well as girls. Look at this, girl. A toy toaster. <laughs> oh, that's a real toaster! I live here. Oh, wait a minute. Would you like a glass of fresh carrot juice? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we're here to ask you some questions. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, I, I want to show you something else. Here she is. Watch this. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Me, 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 me. Oh, see? It's a crying Tammy doll. She's born again for Christmas. Oh, come on, <laughs> Belle. I'm tired of being toyed with. Let's cut to the chase. Milo Tyup has been murdered. 
Oh? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Well, and you interrupted my work to tell me that? Mr. Bell, did you design this tank? Oh, of course. Yeah. I design everything for tie-up toys. Why? Because this tiny toy tank took tie-ups. What's another T word? Tife! True. I designed it, but it doesn't have any capability to kill. If I thought it did, I would have used it on Mr. Tie-up a long time ago. So you admit you hated Tie-up? Sure I do. Yeah, I did. Sure. I detested working for him. He was always so cheap. And he never gave me the credit I deserved. I'm the genius behind this whole company, not him. So why didn't you just be a man and quit? I tried to. I got this fantastic offer from the Goldfunger Company. That slimy old Mr. Tie-Up wouldn't let me out of my contract. I still wouldn't have killed him, though. Where were you last night, Mr. Bell? I was right here. Yeah. Yeah, I was here, designing these gag toys for Halloween. See? Trick or treat. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, watch out. Whoa. How many times do I have to tell you I live here? Listen, pal. He who lives by the toy dies by the toy. Goodbye. Well, Sledge, we've got three suspects, three motives, and three flimsy alibis. What do we do now? Walk back. Hello? Sorry, sweetie. I won't be able to see you tonight. Oh, why not? Because you'll be dead. those back from the police lab send them to me at the precinct right away all right i'm not a cop photographer i'm her neighbor i always wanted a shot of her you sick sick sicko yeah, what a way to die well she got what she deserves her own inez tie up got her revenge by torpedoing that trollop Sledge, turn it over. See if tie-up's name's underneath. Yep, there's Milo tie-up's smiling mug. I think we should have another chat with Harold Bell before we talk to Inez tie-up. I think you're right. Let's go. Detectives, hi. I, I, I didn't expect... Uh, what are you... I was about to have a bite to eat. Yeah, well, bite on this. Huh? Does the name Felicia Gilmore ring a bell? Bell? Felicia Gilmore? Yeah. Uh, Felicia? Felicia? Felicia Gil... Felicia Gilmore! No, I've never heard that name before. Why, 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 why do you ask? She was sunk by one of your toy submarines. This is really turning out to be an awful day. Well, you know, I mean, look, I mean, I'd have to be pretty stupid to, 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 to modify two of my own designs. I mean, you know, I mean, I'd be the first one you'd suspect. I didn't, she did. No, he's got a point. Okay, Harold. You can look, but you can't touch. You'll wrinkle the silk. It's not what you think. If it's not what I think, why are you wearing that little black thing? I'm in mourning. Oh, brother. Really? I just came over to congratulate Harold. The board has made him the new chairman. Couldn't she have just left a little something extra in his paycheck? You're not fooling anyone, Mrs. Tyup. You're the board. You made your lover chairman. Who? Bell, Sledge. Bell. Your morals stink out loud. How dare you say that 
What's up the woman I love? I love. I need a barf bag. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, now that you know about us, I can tell you the truth. Inez and I were together last night when Mr. Tyap was murdered. She didn't let me try anything. She's a real tease. <laughs> but we were together. Guess they got their alibi, Sledge. Yeah, and he's right. He'd have to be an idiot to kill two people with toys he designed. Either that or a civil libertarian. Why would he want to kill Felicia? Uh, looks like we're out of suspects. I hate that. We're also starting to sound like murder, she wrote. Someone else has got to be involved here. I think Felicia's the key. I think you're right. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, you two love buckets. You're off the hook. But do me a favor. Don't breed. Don't pay any attention, darling. So cruel. Well, nothing here but the stench of a tawdry love affair. Whatever happened to morality, Duro? I don't know. By the way, I'm very proud of you. Why? For illegally breaking into Felicia's apartment without a search warrant. You're going to make a good cop yet. Gee, thanks, Sledge. Look at this. I guess if you're on the force long enough, you see all kinds of gruesome things. It's lingerie, Sledge. Yeah. Didn't your wife ever wear sexy things for you? Well, I must admit, one time she put on my bulletproof vest. Now, that turned me on like nobody's business. Ugh. You know, Sledge, I find it odd that those would be the only clothes that she owned. But you see, she was a kept woman. These are uniforms, Daryl. Look at this. I love you forever, Claude Goldfunger. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. I'm thinking of invading Afghanistan by myself. What are you thinking? No. Harold Bell mentioned Goldfunger. He's Tyup's competitor. Now, if anyone would want to make those toys lethal, it would be him. I think you're right. Let's go. Yep, this is it. Mr. Goldfunger? I thought you said this clown was expecting us. I was expecting you! <laughs> so, tell me, what brings you to my magic kingdom? Hmm? Whoa, I think this guy's spring is wound a little too tight. We're detectives. Oh, you're probably here about the murder of Milo Tyop. That's right, what do you know about it? Everything. I did it. I punished Felicia, too. Punished? What are you talking about, you weirdo? Felicia was a bad girl. I thought she was my girlfriend. And then I found out she was Milo Tyop's girlfriend, too. So that's why you killed her? Of course not, dumbbell. She was double dealing us. She gave Tyop the plans to my top secret project. <laughs> and that was her fatal boo-boo. So I had to kill them both. A little extreme, don't you think? Hey, the toy business isn't kid stuff. Well, I'm taking you in. You want to know women can't keep secrets. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, but you are. Can you believe this? He's holding us off with a toy gun. This is my top secret project. It will revolutionize the world of toys. A child's toy gun, that's real. He's gone. There's an escape hatch. He's probably somewhere in the factory. Come on, let's go. Did you see that? A toy gun that shoots real bullets? You want a pet? Sledge! The Defense Department knows about this guy? If they did, the world would be a safe place. Go that way.
Goodbye, Inspector. Rabbits to the kill. It's just like they always say. You give them all the toys in the world and they wind up playing in a cardboard box. Doro, it is unbelievable that a successful businessman like Claude Goldfunger could be so maniacal. Well, apparently toys are his life. And toys got him life. Look what Harold Bell just sent me. A sledgehammer doll. You see the similarity? It's cute. Can I see it? Okay, but give it back. It's really offensive. The guy did an accurate job. I guess they haven't got all the bugs out of it yet. Malfunctioned. No, it didn't. Can I see that? 